I'm Shaf Sniffer, I'm from Fremantle Hash. Uh, I've been hashing about 12 years. Hashers are generally people who like to get out and run and walk. Um, uh, there's probably a, a mix in most, most clubs of runners and walkers. Probably in some clubs it's more walkers and runners, but, but generally people like to socialise and get out and about. Just in Perth here, there's, there's about uh, 14 or 15 hash clubs just in the metropolitan area. Hash is actually my life. I run Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday morning. It's just social running. The runs are usually held in places like this, at a park or somewhere, preferably where we've got access to um, some shelter in case it rains. Sometimes they're held at people's houses and the runs go for up to an hour. The markings are usually done with uh, a piece of gyp rock or chalk um, and it's just scratched onto a path. We put in things like false trails you know, it, there's a dead end and you have to turn around and come back and then you rejoin with the pack. It's a really good way of keeping the, the trail together. Whenever you go to a hash run, you're called by your hash name, you're not called by your real name. And it's a way also of people getting to know each other and, and breaking down barriers between them, finding out who, who their person is by their hash name. My hash name is Half Cut. Shorty. Jam My own name, Shaft Sniffer, that, that came about because I'm a mines inspector and, and um, my work involves shafts. I love the hash. It's so uh, sociable, so much fun. You know, it's all, my, all my friends are here. There's no rules at hash. That's what I like about hash. It doesn't take the exercise part too seriously. <laughs> I like the humour, I like the Harriet, and I like the exercise. <laughs> and I like looking at ladies' tits. <laughs> Hash House Harriers began in 1938 in Malaysia when a group of British colonial officers decided that they shouldn't just stand around and drink beer all the time, they should run, then stand around and drink beer all the time. They ran Monday evenings and after several months of meeting they were told that as a group they required a constitution and an official name, so they named the club after their local watering hole, the Hash House. The harrier part came from the hound and hare style of the run. A harrier is a smallish breed of hound used originally for hare hunting. So the club was dubbed Hash House Harriers and its constitution was thus to promote physical fitness amongst our members, to get rid of weekend hangovers, to acquire a good thirst and to satisfy it in beer, to persuade older members that they are not as old as they feel. Hash House Harriers continues to run today with approximately 1,987 clubs worldwide, which equates to roughly 200,000 members. The Grand Master is basically the equivalent of the president of other clubs. The girls club, it's the Grand Mattress. Um, we'll then call everyone in and we'll start a circle and have our fun. So the circle is the social aspect of it and a little bit of a meeting. Someone might have shortcutted or someone might have fallen over on a run. Someone might have got lost. The whole idea of it is that the person gets charged, they come out in the circle, gets called by their name and has a down down. A down down is basically, and it, it's different with different clubs. Um, it can be something like a shandy of a bit of beer. We don't want to get people uh, getting too uh, intoxicated. With an ever-expanding network, the Hash House Harriers constitution remains intact. However, it has also become so much more. Today, hashers gather together not only for fun and fitness, but also for friendship and support. In 2010, my husband was killed in the Congo plane crash, where the Sundance directors were, um, were all killed. And um, that's when the, you know, the support network really came to the fore for me. You know, coming to the house and cooking things and you know, going to the funeral and, you know, uh, just being friends, being there, you know, so um, really, really, uh, really a great support network. 
So Wallace was known by everyone. She started quite early in the, in the Harriets. She'd been running for a long time, but she was one of the ones that used to be up the front and all the rest of it. She then got um, motor neuron disease. We put her in a wheelchair and I actually wheeled around for about a year. When Wallace was diagnosed, it was decided that it would become a blue dress run and it would be to support motor neuron disease and raise money for the research into motor neuron disease. We do that every year. They raise $800 or so a year and it's a way to remember her now that she has passed away. Um, my husband had died the year before in 94 and in 95 I came back to Perth and decided that I would join HASH. From then on I, my personality changed I think um, where I just felt like I can just be me, be me and it doesn't matter. But as soon as something wrong goes, happens, the ha all the Harriets are there help. It's just the camar camaraderie, that sort of thing, yes. Yeah. So it's just the, the friendships and that. Uh, Hash is a place where it doesn't matter where you're, uh, whether you're a, a mines inspector or an engineer or, or, a, or a doctor or whatever, it's a, a leveller where you can, you can just hang out with people and, um, and be yourself. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are, what you do. When you get to hash, one of the girls. You know, you can be a managing director, you can be a cleaner. You're just a hasher. We go hashing every Monday. We are the Pesetarians! What do we do when a Wednesday evening? What do we do when the horn is blowing? What do we do when the trail is blazing? Run with a 6 